So now my C color. Now this one is going to be significantly easier to fill in because really what I want to tell Photoshop to do is fill in anything non-green with blue. Because I only have two main colors. I already filled in one of them, so I just need to fill in the other one. So what I need to do is tell Photoshop the area that I want to fill. So I'm going to basically do the exact same thing that I did before with my magic wand tool. And that is choose an area and tell it to pick everywhere around that of the same color. I want it to choose everywhere non-green, so I just need to click anywhere that's not green. And you can see the ants surround everything else. I'm going to put my sea color, my ocean color, on a different layer than my land color. This is for flexibility and it will uh, really increase the range of things that I can do later on. So I'm going to add a new layer by clicking on to the um, Create New Layer button. I'm going to name that Color 2. And then I am going to choose my Paint Bucket tool. Now, of course, if I click right now, it's going to fill it with green because that's my foreground color. So I'm going to choose a new color. Let's choose this just pale blue right here. Click anywhere in here. Make sure that my color 2 is highlighted so it does things in that layer. And there it is. Get rid of my marching ants by select, deselect. And there is the basic outline of my map. From here, it's really easy to do uh, further things because I'm just going to keep adding other layers and painting more things on it. So I've got my land color, my water color. I'm going to add another layer, and I'll call it color three. You know, I could get more descriptive names for each of these, such as land, water, you know, additional colors, things like that. I'll choose my paintbrush tool and paint in, let's see, let's go with let's say I want to paint in mountains and I'll choose just a dark brown color for that zoom in a little bit not quite that much and in my map I went the really easy route of a traditional um, European cartography from the Middle Ages of doing blobs like this I'm in my color 3 I just need to color in with my with my uh, brown color there Very straightforward, doing a quick job here just to save time. Now I could go the very easy route like I did with the islands, since these are basically islands inside the land, of using my magic wand tool in the exact same manner that I did before. Go up to my original map, click inside anywhere that's enclosed, and make selections in that manner, and then go to my color three, go to my paint bucket tool and fill it and that would be the exact same thing as before and then when I'm done select deselect easy enough this would be um, let's say that we want this to be a lake we could do the exact same thing use the magic wand tool click there click on the water color fill Oops, I filled, ah, you can see what I did. I filled in my original map layer by accident. And this would be a good opportunity to teach you of one of the most important things in Photoshop to learn, and that is Edit Undo. Control Z, which is Edit Undo. Well, it's not listed now, but Control Z is definitely one of my major, major, major keystrokes. I go down to my color three again, or I could even add a color four for lakes or things fill it and there's my color for that as well and that about wraps it up for this um, tutorial which is the basic coloring when I go through I would just do the exact same things over and over again for any kind of landforms for anything that I wanted in that respect and the basic techniques I've just shown are pretty much the basis for all types of maps, um, at least of, of this sort of level. And this looks very cartoony right now, of course, but um, when you start getting into um, improving it with filters, different types of brushes, things like that, you can create many different types. For example, here's one using that exact same method that I created that looks nothing like the cartoony sort of level of that way. It looks much more like an authentic map. If you look over here at the um, layers menu, you can see that I've got a layer for colors, colors two, land, water, all these sorts of things. It's the exact same thing. Likewise for an area map such as this. 
If we look down over here, we'll see the same thing, land, water, such, and it just has some different sort of colorations on top of the different layers. And finally, a very close view map of, um, like this is a top-down map that's much more photorealistic, really is the exact same thing, except instead of using um, the colors, the straight flat colors like I was using before, I filled with the paint bucket tool with a pattern which looked like rock and then added on top of that some different um, effects and such to make it look differently. So I hope you found this tutorial very, very useful. Um, if you have any questions about it or you'd like to post a map that you created from it, I'd love to see it. Post it right here in our Cartographers Guild um, in the tutorials section. This is Don on behalf of the Cartographers Guild. I hope you found this useful. Thanks a lot.